So, some of the people features. So let's go into the people hub. Now, at first glance, the people hub looks basically relatively the same as it does today, right? I want recent contacts. I've got all of my contacts here. And I've also got my What's New feed, which now also include uh, not only live and Facebook, but also Twitter and LinkedIn feeds as well. Now, as I pivot back over, I'll go back up to the top here. We've also got a feature called groups, so I can come into my groups. I've got a BFFs group and a friends group. So if I go into one of these, I can basically create a group with you know, my teammates that I work with at work, my family, my friends. I can interact with the group as well, so I can see what's new, filtered feed just for all those people that are in that group. I can see pictures, so I can dive into pictures for any of these individuals, or I can just go and get overall, you know, shots that might have been tagged of those individuals as well. So I've got two pictures tagged of, of one of my contacts there. I can also do an email to everybody, so one shot works like a distribution list, and messages, so I can say I want to send a message to, some, to everybody. Now, right off the bat, I can see that three of the four people here have mobile numbers associated with them, so I can text three of them, or I can chat currently with four of them on Windows Live. And if I had uh, <clears throat> um, the Facebook component set up here as well, and somebody was online on Facebook, it would also tell me that you know I could maybe chat with one or three of them on Facebook chat if they were also online as well. So just one tap there, I can create a, a Windows Live conversation with that group. And it keeps that conversation together as a group. Actually, let's go back to that group again. So that group is pinned to my start screen, the basic Amazon.com application that's on the phone. I can pivot here and check out the site, their deals and so on, but I have a search bar at the top. So if I want to go find a specific product, I can do a search on it, it remembers my last search, I can delete that, I can scan a barcode, things like that. Now what they've done is they've decided that, hey, um, right now it's three taps to scan a barcode. Launch the app, tap on search, tap scan a barcode. And if I'm walking through a store, maybe I see a book that interests me, I want to see how much it is on Amazon, I can instead pin that smart link to my home screen. So here now I have actually two tiles. So I've got an Amazon tile here and another one that that deep links or smart links right to that specific component. So now as I touch that barcode scanner, it links directly into that scanner. Now I can just turn around and scan a barcode and it takes me right into the search results. I've got a Best Buy application. I was looking for a new TV set. I found one that I wanted actually and I pinned it to my start screen. And the tile is alive. It's actually telling me that there's a Best Buy one mile away that may have this in stock. So again, it's bringing that information that's important to me up to me where, where I live, which is on my start screen. One touch takes me right to that TV. I don't have to research for it. I don't have to remember what model number it was.